Hey, Greensboro College, welcome to the final episode of the Collegian Podcast for this semester with your host, Zypher Pino. By my side here, we have Josh Wilson and Chandler Eckert. We are very excited for this podcast episode again. Final issue of the semester. We're celebrating our 12 page issue that recently came out on April 17th. Just to start off, how is everybody doing today? Uh, good. It's, it feels great that we are at the end of the semester, final projects, final exams. And our very last podcast of the semester. Yes, it's really hot outside, so I'm ready to get out of school. Um, All right, we'll actually get started talking about the final issue of this semester, starting off with our cover page article, Chief Calvin Gilmore announcing his retirement from Greensboro College. This article was made by Taylor Cody, um, basically talking about after 43 years with the college, Chief Calvin Gilmore will be officially leaving Greensboro College and ending a very successful tenure here at GC. So overall thoughts on this, guys? Overall thoughts on Chief? Um, he had an excellent career here. I, I really got to meet him when I was doing the article on campus security. Yes. Um, and just learning their procedures and everything that goes into the day in the life of being campus security at Greensboro College. And I honestly got to build a great relationship with him, you know. Um, and also just reading about... Um, the article of appreciation for dining hall uh, employees. I also found out he worked in the dining hall at some point. So that was pretty neat to find out about him. I mean, um, I actually asked him about his retirement, and um, he's he feels he's satisfied, you know. And I, and I honestly, with the with him spending all this time here at Greensboro College, I understand why, you know. Yes, 43 years is a crazy time, crazy length of time for anybody to stay at one place. But I'm glad that Chief Gilmore was able to spend those 43 years with GC because he's really great. Every time I see him, every time I interact with him, he's always just smiling. He's always just happy and always just genuinely looking out for others and getting to know others. So he's really great. Um, we Greensboro College is going to miss him. I don't know who, who they're going to replace him with. It's going to be a really hard, hard task to find someone better than him. And I like what Dr. Zarda said about... Um, Chief Calvin Gilmore just saying how he's been so professional, caring, calm, and just been an overall consistent, constant presence over the past couple of years. Especially um, last year, we had a tons of tons of incidents last semester, and just through COVID stuff like that. So he's been really great, been really great, and we're really gonna miss Chief Calvin Gilmore. Um, Chandler, any overall thoughts on Chief? He's great. I met him last semester when I set off the fire alarm. He was really nice about it. I, I, I locked myself. I didn't mean to. I locked myself out of my room, and he came like instantly. And yeah. uh, really, yeah. really, I don't have any personal experience with Chief Galvin Gilmore like that. But you just, you just got to mess up, you know. Yeah. You, you got to stop being. Make perfect. a mistake <laughs> for once. I do know that I did get a ticket one time, and I wrote a very long appeal form on it, and it did eventually get overturned. I didn't talk to Chief about it, even though the ticket said. See Chief Gilmore. Hey. I'm assuming he wrote it, but yeah. I was like, I hate you. I'm going to appeal your ticket. <laughs> and it did get appealed, but I don't hate, I actually hate Chief Gilmore, but um, that's basically my only experience with him, getting that ticket. And I was really pissed for like a couple weeks up until my ticket got appealed. After hey. that, I was good. Hey, man, comes with the territory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll move on to our. Um, the next article that we have, the first ever GC Olympics, an article made by me. So this event was really great. First ever GC Olympics hosted on April 12, 2024, led by SGA, led by student president um, Alex Trepper. And this event was trying to mimic the Olymp- this upcoming Olympics and putting it at GC, putting it in our setting and having our students participate in all these types of games just so that... It's a community bonding event, just bring everyone in together and have the opportunity to win medals and just overall just have tons of fun. Um, this was a really great event. Chandler, did you sign up for any country? I did. I was Poland. You were Poland. And I also, I was making some of the TikToks for oh, the GC Olympics. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, the Olympics was really great. There was four games. You had the red light, green light game, rock, paper, scissors, a potato sack race, and the one that all everyone was anticipating, the ping pong tournament. Um, I specifically want to start off with the ping pong tournament because a lot of people on campus, I don't know if you guys are aware, a lot of them claim to be the ping pong king or queen on campus. And this was the opportunity to really prove 
who was the best ping pong player on campus. And if you were there, it took a little longer than it should have to cut the whole tournament. It was the majority, or it took up most of the time of the GC Olympics. But once you started seeing like matchups of people that actually knew how to play ping pong and they were actually good, it was intense. Um, I wrote here, there was a matchup between Baba Tunde and Trepper, Alex Trepper. Both of them claimed to be the best. And it was really down to the wire. And they were going crazy that whole match. And Baba Tunde and eventually ended up on top. But it was really fun. It was really entertaining watching them play. And overall, that competition was just great. Your teammate, CJ, ended up with the bronze medal. And then it was an all-Nigerian matchup during the finals between NZ and Baba Tunde. And NZ eventually came up on top. And I really like what NZ said at the end because I interviewed him about what's it feel like to actually be the best player on ping pong on campus. And he was like, yeah, it was good, but honestly, it was too easy for me. <laughs> and it was kind of hilarious to me. And I added that in the article, too, which I think was great. I expected I expected CJ to uh, probably get the silver. Ma my picks were, uh, you know, Babatune getting first place because um, we were pride leaders. He was extremely uh, efficient in the ping pong sport. Um, CJ, I knew he was working really hard. He put in a lot of hours in preparation for this uh, <laughs> Olympic tournament. So I expected him to place a little higher. But I'm glad he still uh, yeah. left with a medal. So, yeah. yeah, that's that's kind of my take yeah. on that. He's still top three, though, so that's pretty good. Um, and it, you are right. I saw a lot of people practicing ping pong in the underground right before this. I don't know if it was for the Olympics, but I did hear a couple of people always talking about, oh, how are you going to do in the Olympics? Are you excited for a ping pong tournament? Overall, this event was really great, bringing everybody together. Um, if they do decide to bring it back next semester or next year, I do wish that um, there will be more like team sports games involved, kind of like maybe like 3v3 basketball, maybe like this using the sand volleyball net uh, outside of West. What do y'all think of that? I think they should implement, was spike ball one of the? It was not. Spike yeah, ball I think was not spike there. ball, they should implement spike ball. Like I have like a, like a, and spike ball is, is two person teams. So, you know, yes. having like a, a, you know, a two person kind of like, Team sport would be cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you could do that with basketball also. Yeah. yeah. It'd just be a lot of teams. Yes. They could probably do that in Reynolds mm -hmm. uh, just because it's a bigger gym. Um, but, yeah, I think I think that would be – I like dodgeball. Oh, Yo, yeah. I recommended dodgeball to them. But, again, it was the same thing. It was just hard to kind of set up teams mm -hmm. or even just yeah. – since you're doing sports, you have to make people sign waivers mm -hmm. just for liability issues. So when someone gets injured, they can't, like, tell the school to pay for it or something mm -hmm. like that. Right. But I would have loved dodgeball. Even then, dodgeball, you can just, like, ha split half of the people, go on one side, go on the other, and just do a knockout style. That would be really In great. In my school, they did that as an intramural sport. So yes. it was it was pretty fun, like your homeroom classroom facing other oh, homerooms. Oh, yeah. That's one thing that GC should also have. Do they have what an intramural? Split, what if they uh, split it into majors? Like it was like <laughs> English communication versus business first round, and then you got uh, psychology versus psychology. theater. Like, yeah. It's, <laughs> I feel like. Majoring, what would I do? If you're undecided? I'm double majoring. If you're double majoring, you just got to pick a side. Yeah, just pick a side. Pick you a favorite. Pick a, side. pick a favorite. Damn. Yeah. You got to pick a side. That choose. would be good, but then, like, half of the people on campus, are, aren't they, like, kinesiology majors or health science majors? Yeah, it's going to be 20 v 3. <laughs> yeah. hey, and man. those are going to be the ones that are athletes, too. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. it is what it is, <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's, you know, at that point, I mean, that just adds some more adversity to this yeah, game. Yeah, true. And if they win, it's a bigger story. It's more, you know. You, know. you can, um, you know, I guess with each major, everybody has their own kind of techniques and tactics. Yeah, that is of, true. On how they look at it, so. Yeah. I think overall they should have team games, though. I feel like that would be really great. Maybe because the whole point of the reason why they chose these games is so that everybody could participate in it. Like, rock, paper, scissors, you don't need skill for that. It's mainly yeah. just luck. I mean, maybe there's some strategy involved, but... I mean, like, we could do rock, paper, scissors right now and see who wins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, let's, right now... Let's uh, do it right now, I actually. Rock. All right, rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Josh is our go gold medalist. Third. Yeah, oh, yeah, we got to play. Rock, oh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn. Hey, I'm silver medalist. Yeah, some more, <laughs> some more, like, you know... uh 
active, I guess, physically yeah. taxing sports would be cool. Yeah. Red light, green light was that. But when they did red light, green light, I felt like it, it was a little fast. Like, they only did one heat, too. Mm-hmm. So what, everybody went at one time, mm-hmm. and it was just that. It took, like, less than five minutes. I mean, that's how it was in the movie. Yes. I mean, you only had <laughs> one chance game, if, yeah. you, if, you, if you mess up. <laughs> It's over with. Yeah, <laughs> good thing here that you don't die. Yeah. You just get eliminated, but yeah. not literally. Mm-hmm. In the movie, in Squid Games, yeah, you, yeah, Squid, you were just gone. Yeah, Squid Games was so, wild. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, if they do end up bringing back the GC Olympics, I feel like it will be a lot better than this first year. This first year, the first time they did it, it was great. But I feel like a lot more people will be excited about it. They'll know what to expect. But if you incorporate, like, team games and more, like, actual competition, so, like, friend groups will be grouping up or maybe even going against each other, I feel like that will be a lot more interesting. Yeah, team games is always fun. Yes. Moving on to our last part of this podcast, talking about the On The Prowl. So for this On The Prowl, I asked people, what has been the best part of this semester? I got some really interesting responses, but I want to hear from you guys first. What's been the best part? I, you know, like, <laughs> yep. basically, like, but my favorite part was, like, when I came back home from Wisconsin after the national tournament, and I got to see my family, friends, and professors, yes. and everybody. Uh, when I when I got off the uh, van, it was very fulfilling to see that everybody was there and wait for me to come back. That was my favorite part. Uh, other than that, I can't think of anything yes, right now. Yes, it's hard. It's a hard question. Yeah. But um, I did see a video I don't think the Greensboro College account posted it or admissions posted mm-hmm. it. I saw a video of you coming back and people were like cheering. I was like, I was like, um, we are, and they say what? <laughs> yeah, that was it, yeah. yeah. And you love saying that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, like that's that's the chant, like the pride leading. When you do in pride leading, we uh, that's like our thing. We say, and like to like incoming students there in Pauls, we always be like. We are, and they'd be like, what, bro? <laughs> and then we never do it ever again. We never do it ever Man, again. Man, we got to do it more. We got to uh, embrace yeah. the pride. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe during the GC Olympics, I should have been like, yeah. we are. And then everybody Dude, says one pride. You thought about that. You made that joke. I did make that. that joke. And I ended up Should actually be. making the welcoming speech during the GC Olympics, and it was terrible. So I was struggling. I had, like, a little brain fart in the beginning <laughs> of it. Oh, my gosh. It was Cut bad. all on video. Yeah. It's and because pudding. Trepper just came up to me out of nowhere and was like, hey, can you do the welcoming announcement of the Olympics? And I was like, oh, oh. I don't want to. Oh. Yeah. And so put you on the spot. I was put on the spot, and it was terrible. I was not ready for it. Hey, when – I mean, when – when you get put on the spot in speeches, you just got to <sighs> pretend like... You know what you're talking about, or, and that's not what I did. What I like to do during speeches, I just pretend I'm the only one there. That's hard, though. That's <laughs> really hard for me. I suck at, like, talking to a big group of people. And I'm saying that, and then tomorrow I have a showcase day presentation. So oh, Yeah, where, where is that going to be at? Um, I think it's going to be at um, Proctor East 214. I'm going to be presenting on the inverse project that I participated on with Dr. Cook. Mm-hmm. And that's actually my answer to the on the proud question. So perfect transition there. Mm-hmm. Um, participating in the inverse project with Dr. Cook, basically, we went out to the stream sample macroinvertebrates, and we b- basically part of this collaborative project where we're basically analyzing how the stream temperatures and macroinvertebrate communities within streams, how does that affect overall biodiversity? So we were basically contributing to that ecological question, and it was really fun. It's not really like... My expertise, it's not something that I've ever done before. Just doing field work, going out to the stream, sampling for actual bugs, actual macroinvertebrates. It was a really fun experience. So that's been my best part of the semester. And that's what I'm presenting on tomorrow. So. Chandler, did you understand any of what he did? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what? Basically temperature. Bugs and dirt and water. Yes, temperature, yeah. Yeah. bugs, streams. Mm-hmm. And Dude, I wanted to go into soil science. I know all that stuff. Yes, it's oh. interesting. It's really so. Interesting. You're you're a biology major too. No. Oh. What major are you? Sociology and history. Oh. oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, is your best part of the semester related to any of that stuff? No, it was when I made um, the one TikTok of C.J. Watson getting out first, and I interviewed him. I was like, "How does it feel to get out first? <laughs> and it was in like point five. And he was sweating. Oh, my gosh. Is this during the Olympics? Yeah. Red light, green light? Yeah. And then he's like, um, 
uh, sad I didn't win this one, but I'll beat it in ping pong. And then it, it went to black and white, and I was like, CJ Watson did not win first place in ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. He oh, did win yeah. bronze, though. So that's something. That's not first place, though. True, true. Hey. I need to see that TikTok. That must have been Actually, hilarious. Yeah, I'll show you later. <laughs> yes. Hey, maybe maybe next year. Maybe next year, because hey, we will bring it back. And he's SJ president for next year, exactly. so maybe we can bring they, it. They always say... It's going to rig it. They always say uh, a setback is just a set up for a comeback, <laughs> you know? And I like that. I like that. Is yeah. that what you were thinking when um, last year, before yeah, when you didn't you win? Know, and that's, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, falls are, are very... You got to embrace those. You yes, know? So exactly. When, when the good times do happen, you can look back on it and see the growth. Yeah, exactly. That's that's very inspirational. That's the perfect ending to this podcast session, actually. All right. That brings us to the end of this podcast episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we will catch you next semester because this is our last episode of this semester. See you guys. Peace out. Peace.